Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the common base configuration. Base on the terminal is connected to ground. Transistor is having the three terminals. Base on the terminal is connected to ground. Okay, there are three configurations, common base configuration and the common emitter configurations and the common collector configurations. Today, we will discuss about the common base configuration. Okay, now, let's see the circuit diagram of the common base configuration. This is a circuit diagram of common base configuration. Okay, it is having the three terminals, emitter, base and the collector. Out of these three terminals, as the base is connected to ground, and it is base is common to emitter and the collector. It is called as a common base configurations. Okay, now let's see what are the parameters in the circuit. We'll see here. Okay, it is the the voltage between emitter and the base E B V E B. Okay, it is a voltage between collector and the base that is V C B. Okay, now let's see the parameters in the circuit. If you see the parameters here, IE is equal to emitter current. The current passing through this emitter is called as the emitter current. And one more thing is here, as the emitter current direction is outside, it is called as a NPN transistor. We can take the PNP transistor also. I am taking the NPN transistor. In the NPN transistor, emitter current direction is outside and the base and the collector currents are the inside. Okay, here IE is called as a emitter current and the IB is equal to base current and the IC is equal to collector current. Collector current uh, is a current passing through the collector and the base current is a current passing through the base. VEB is the emitter to base voltage. The voltage between emitter and the base is called as a VEB. Next VCB. VCB is the, the voltage between collector and the base is called as a VCB. And RE is the one resistor is connected to the emitter terminal that is called as the emitter resistance and the one resistor is connected to the collector terminal that is called as the collector resistance and this VCC. This VCC is called as a collector biasing voltage. As we are giving the supply to the collector, this is called as a collector biasing voltage. This is the biasing voltage, not the input voltage. Okay. Now, if you see the VE, v is, called, v is called as a emitter biasing voltage. As we are giving the supply to the emitter terminal, it is called as a emitter biasing voltage. Okay, now let's see the what are the input parameters and the output parameters. Okay, it is VEB and it is VCB. VCB, if you see the input parameters, the left side of the transistor is the input parameters and the right side is the output parameters. If you see the input parameters here, IE is called as a emitter current. IE is called as the emitter current and it is also called as the input current. And the VEB, VEB is called as the emitter to base voltage and it is also called as the input voltage. This is not the input voltage, it is a just a biasing voltage. Giving the external supply to the any electronic device is called as a biasing voltage. This VE is called as a biasing voltage and this VEB is called as the input voltage. And if you see the output parameters, IC, IC is called as a collector current. And it is the output current. And if you see the VCB, VCP is called as a collector to base voltage and it is also called as the output voltage. Okay, these are the input current and the input voltage and the output current and the output voltages. Now let's see the equations of the input side and the output side. If you see, if we apply the cable at the input loop, we will get it is VEB. Okay, I'm applying the KVL at the input side. It is a minus terminal and it is a plus terminal. Okay, it is a min, it is a plus terminal and it is a minus terminal here. Now, as the emitter current flowing in the anti-clockwise direction, we will apply the KVL in the anti-clockwise direction. Minus 2 plus plus VEE. Plus VEE. <coughs> plus VEE. And minus 2 plus plus VEB is equal to I voltage drop IE into RE. IE into RE. This is equation number one. From equation number one, we can separate input current as well as the input voltage. From equation number one, 
input current is indicated by in the common base configuration input current is i so i separate i here if we separate i i is equal to what we will get v e e plus v e b divided by r e okay now if we separate the input voltage input voltage here input voltage is indicated by veb input voltage is veb if if we separate the veb from the equation number 1 we will get ie into re minus vee this is the input voltage equation now apply the kvl at the output loop if you apply the kvl at the output loop we will get the output current and the output voltage equation here it is the voltage between collector and the base it is a plus terminal and it is a minus terminal and it is a plus terminal and it is a minus terminal okay now as a collector current is flowing in the anti clockwise direction as the current collector current is flowing in the anti clockwise direction we will apply the cable in the anti clockwise direction plus 2 minus minus vcb and the minus 2 plus plus vcc is equal to ic into rc assume that it is equation number 2 okay now from equation number 2 from equation number 2 output current output current is indicated by ic ic is equal to vcc Minus VCB divided by RC. This is the output current. So from the equation number two only, if we separate the output voltage, output voltage, as we know that output voltage is indicated by VCB. If we separate VCB, VCB is equal to what we will get. VCB is equal to VCC minus IC RC. VCC minus IC RC. this is about the output current and the output voltage equation and the input current and the input voltage equation okay now let's see the output current equation in terms of gain input current and the ic not if you see the formula output current equation is equal to gain into input current plus 1 plus gain into ic not this is the output current equation formula so here ic not is called as a reverse uh, saturation current now since gain of gain of common base configuration is indicated by alpha and the common emitter is indicated by beta and the common collector is indicated by gamma now let's write the formula for the output current equation output current of the common base configuration is ic ic is equal to the gain of common base is indicated by alpha alpha into the input current of common base configuration is ie less 1 plus alpha that is gain is indicated by alpha into ic not ic not is a reverse saturation current if you observe the equation here this ic is the output current is depends on the input current ie that's why as the output current is depends on the input current the we can say that the bjt is a current control device as there is no voltage term here the output current is depends on the input current only okay so output current ic is depends on the input current ie hence bjt is a current control device
Okay, remember this VJT is called as a current control device because output current is depends on the input current. Now let's see the input and output characteristics. Now let's see the input characteristics first. Input characteristics are drawn between input current as well as the input voltage at constant output voltage. Here input current is IE and the input voltage is VEB and the output voltage is VCB. Okay, now here input current and the input voltages are the variables and the output voltage VCB is a constant. First, I am taking VCB is equal to some constant value. Okay, slowly I am increasing the VEB. Slowly I am increasing the VEB. If you increase the VEB, okay, there is no change in the value up to this point. After reaching to this point, better to assume it is VCB2 and it is a VCB1. Okay, so initially, up to this point, there is no change in the at VCB1. Up to this point, there is no change in the current value. Current is equal to zero. If you increase the VEB continuously, there is no change. After reaching to this point, it increases. Okay, at VCB1, we will get the characteristics like this. Again, if you increase the value from VCB1 to VCB2, VCB is nothing but the output voltage. I am taking the one more value and keeping that value is constant. VCB2 value, I am taking one more value that is constant. If you, if you take the VCB2 value, if you increase the voltage continuously up to this point, there is no change here. After, after reaching this point, the IE current increases. These are the input characteristics of the common base configuration. If you summarize the characteristics here, from the characteristics, it is observed that when the input voltage VEB increased, initially there is no current produced. See here, there is no current here. Here also there is no current. Further, when it is increased, the input current IE increases steeply. If you, up to this point, there is no change. Again, if you increase VEB, there is a change in the current. Current increases. When the output voltage VCB is further increased, Initially, the VCB at uh, VCB value here, VCB one initially. If you further, if you increase the VCB value from VCB one to VCB two value, if you increase it further, the curve shift left side here. Curve shift left side. Okay, from common emitter and the common collector configuration, the curve shift towards the right side, but in common base configuration, if you increase the output voltage from VCB1 to VCB2, the curve shift left side here. Okay, that is only the difference and everything is same in all the configurations. Okay, this is about the input characteristics of the common base configuration. Now, let's see the output characteristics of the common base configuration. In the output characteristics here, Output characteristics are drawn between output current and the output voltage at constant input current. Output current is indicated by IC and the output voltage is indicated by VCB and the input current is indicated by IE. If you see the characteristics, these are the common base configuration output characteristics. In common base configuration, there are three regions, active region, and the cutoff region and the saturation the region. There are, these are the three regions. Okay, what, uh, uh, what are the words that these three regions that we will discuss a little shorter. Okay, here, if we increase the VCB here, okay, up to this point, there is no change. Here, we will get the negative values in the common base configuration here. Up to uh, this point, there is no change here. It starts from this point only, okay. Uh, it is starting from the negative value. Up to this point, it is increases, current increases. After reaching to this point, the current is constant. It, IE, is equal to 0 microamps, constant value. Now, again, if you increase the output, uh, input current from 0 milliamps to the 2 milliamps, it is increases up to this point. After reaching to this point, it is constant again. Again, if you increase the IE, that is input current from 2 to 4. Okay, after reaching to this point, it is increases. The IC current is increases continuously. After reaching to this point, it is constant. And so on, up to 10 milliamps we are taking. 
okay it is having the three regions here so uh, we will discuss one by one about the each and every region output characteristics have the three operating regions first one is a saturation region second one is a cutoff region and the third one is an active region if you see the saturation region in saturation region <coughs> if you see here this is an emitter terminal it is a base terminal and it is a collector terminal it is having the two junction we are taking the npn transistor it is a emitter junction it is a collector junction okay in saturation region emitter junction is forward bias and the collector junction is also forward bias okay due to the forward bias of the both the junctions more amount of forward current flowing in the transistor that's why in the saturation region resistance is very low and the transistor acts as on switch okay now if you see the uh, cutoff region in cutoff region also we are taking the same emitter base and the collector this is a emitter junction and it is called as a collector junction or j1 or j2 in the cutoff region emitter junction is reverse bias and the collector junction is also reverse bias as both are reverse bias due to the reverse bias of the both the junctions the current flowing is very low okay the resistance offered in this region is very high as the current is low generally the resistance will be very high as the both the junctions are reverse bias so the resistance offered is very high in the cutoff region as the both the junctions are in the reverse bias the transistor acts as off switch if you see the active region it is a emitter terminal and it is a base terminal and it is collector terminal it is a junction one that is we can also call it as a emitter junction it is a junction two we can also call it as a collector junction in the active region the emitter junction is in forward bias and the collector junction will be in the reverse bias okay here due to the forward bias of the emitter junction the current flows in the emitter junction is very high because it is a forward bias due to the reverse bias of the collector junction the current flows in the collector junction is very low because it is a reverse bias in active region as the forward in forward in the uh, emitter junction it is forward bias and the collector junction it is reverse bias so finally in active region the transistor acts as amplifier what is amplifier it increases the strength of the input signal is called as an amplific amplifier increasing the signal strength it may be the voltage signal it may be the current signal it may be the power signal whatever the signal it increases the signal strength input signal strength is called as an amplifier in saturation region it acts as an on switch in cutoff region it acts as an off switch but in active region it acts as an amplifier okay so this is about the input characteristics and the output characteristics of the common base configuration Okay, this is about the uh, transistor common base configuration.